How to find out what to do in Iceland? The question should be, what is impossible to do in Iceland? There are so many unique and exciting activities available that one vacation will never be enough. Instead of planning around an exhausting itinerary that would take days for you to exhaust, try scheduling activities with the time and budget limit. With that said, watch the video till the end. You must start your trip with Lake Mimatan in North Iceland. The possibilities of what you can do in North Iceland are nearly endless. Visit the beautiful Skutastatajikr Suda Craters, the active geothermally Nemaskard Pass, or even Dimuborgir, a site of strange yet haunting volcanic rock formations. In winter, there aren't as many flies, and even on the warmest of summer days, there isn't much to detract from the pure beauty of the lake. Here you'll find a cloud of winged enemies buzzing around the shoreline. Wearing netted hats and long sleeves is recommended to avoid problems from biting flies. How can you not enjoy the night out the capital city, Reykjavik? Reykjavik's nightlife is one of its main attractions. The city has been attracting a mixed crowd for centuries, and that trend continues to this day. Reykjavik has many bars, restaurants, and coffee houses with a unique style that welcomes travelers. The only thing to do in Iceland at night is drink. The island isn't exactly full of natural light, thanks to the ever-dark past due to the length of the days that some locals go out for a pint or two anyway. It might have something to do with beer only becoming legal in 1989, which coincides with when sunset starts and the night begins. For a more financially palatable drinking experience, some establishments offer happy hours where drinks are provided at a discounted price during certain hours of the day. Iceland offers great opportunities to explore beautiful landscapes and fuel up on experiences. Skagafoss Waterfalls only 10 minutes from Selgelands Foss Waterfall, so if you want the whole experience, it's best to do both simultaneously. If you need help planning, you can book an Icelandic day trip that'll take all the main spots to see and visit the famed Selgelands Foss. You'll also explore the black beaches and more of Iceland's coast. The best thing about Selgelands Foss is that you can walk behind the falls themselves. Sometimes backpacking trips can be challenging, but after witnessing many hikers getting stuck in a tricky situation and regretting the hike afterward, it's best to take precautions and ensure you stay safe. If things fall into place swimmingly, don't worry because some companies with 24-hour cancellation policies will give you a good deal on a trip that might not be possible now. The West Fjords, a southeastern region of Iceland, according to Lonely Planet, has fewer visitors than other regions in Iceland. There are fewer crowds and fewer tourists, making it an ideal place to visit Iceland. Day trips and tours to Hornstrandir, Dinjandi Falls, Skagafoss, and Morser Shelley can give you a glimpse into Iceland's history and cultural traditions. The fjord country has something for everyone. If you've ever seen pictures of Iceland, then you probably know that they are guaranteed to offer plenty of adventures. Skagafoss Falls only 10 minutes from Selgelands Foss Waterfall, so if you want the whole experience, it's best to do both simultaneously. Those looking for cultural and historical info can explore the Arctic Fox Center, the Museum of Witchcraft and Sorcery, the West Fjords Heritage Museum, and the Icelandic Sea Monster Museum. Another waterfall, Dedafoss, is a famous waterfall in Vatnajökull National Park in Iceland's northeast. This waterfall is two of Europe's most potent and unique places to visit when planning your trip to Iceland. Dedafoss should be on your list of places to go when making your list of must-see attractions in Iceland. With a mighty crash into the Jokulsur River below, Dedafoss cascades 145 feet into the Jokulsarbjörn Canyon. This natural site is one of the most spectacular and dramatic in Iceland. It is accessible from Route 862 and is one of the main stops on a Diamond Circle tour, the northern counterpart to the Golden Circle. Visitors will also stop at Husavik, Aspigi Canyon, and Lake Mimatan. Don't miss Jokulsarlin Glacier Lagoon. While you may be pressed for time, you need to make sure that you see these sights while in Iceland. This lake is filled with glittering icebergs and a view of the bygone days on Earth when the glaciers were still extant. Despite the name of this lake, Bredemerkurjurkuta, only one glacier originates from it, the smaller Jerkelsarling Glacier, which receives ice from the slightly larger Bredemerkurjurkut. In the past few decades, Jokulsarlin Glacier Lagoon 
has increased in size due to the effects of climate change on glaciers. An entirely new fjord may have filled it in a century. While this might sound unlikely, Iceland's glaciers are already melting rapidly. One can walk only a five-minute walk from the lagoon and get to Diamond Beach. Due to these icebergs frequently washing ashore, visitors will be stunned by nature at this black sand beach. The stunning contrast between icebergs and sand creates one of Iceland's most beautiful apocalyptic landscapes. Do not give up the chance of spotting the wildlife in the Hornstrandir Nature Reserve. This northernmost tip of Iceland was called a hidden gem by those unaware of its remoteness and often forgotten. It is sparsely populated outside the highlands. What makes this region even more desirable is that residents include some animals, plants, and wild human populations. This area has recently become part of a change in conservation, as it is an excellent natural space for nature lovers, photographers, and scientists. One of the best things about traveling to Landajarfdravjur, one of the most beautiful western fjords in Iceland, is their proximity to Hornstrandir Cliffs. By taking a ferry from Isafjörjur, you can explore this natural beauty and even take tours through Hornstrandir for tours. The rugged terrain has contributed to various species, from seabirds to the only native mammal in Iceland, foxes. The best thing to do in Iceland is whale watching. Whale watching offers a fantastic opportunity for incredible experiences of being able to view 20 different types of sea creatures, including the country's largest animal, blue whales. Whales can often be seen in Iceland, with the most common species being mink whales and humpback whales, as well as rare animals, such as killer whales and fin whales. There are also a variety of seabirds that you might see while on an Iceland tour, including skuas, arctic terns, guillemots, and even the colorful puffin. Going on a whale watching tour must be there on your bucket list. Whales are plentiful in Husavik, Reykjavik, and Akureyri. The vast array of whale species offered through tours on different vessels or powerboats makes these locations foundational for whale watching throughout Iceland. Some elements of the experience may vary concerning transportation due to size or noise levels, but overall, there are no significant disadvantages among these configurations. If you do not enjoy natural treatments at the Blue Lagoon, you will definitely miss the opportunity of a world-famous spa. The Blue Lagoon is a popular attraction in Iceland and features some of the greatest attributes guests can enjoy. Its spa-like characteristics make it universally enjoyable throughout various populations. Its billowing steam stacks, rich blue color, silica mud, and warm water provide a soothing experience without fail. If you want to relax and unwind during your travels or before they start, escaping to some of the many spa treatments available on the island is always a thoughtful idea. Some treatments are water massages, which use natural substances that help with skin conditions like psoriasis. Iceland offers you to take a tour of the Golden Circle and go snowmobiling or snorkeling. Icelanders love the Golden Circle because of its three main attractions. Thingalir is the country's national park, Hakadalar features incredible geothermal waterfalls, and Gullfoss is a beautiful waterfall. These are some of Iceland's best sites. Thingalir National Park is essential to Icelanders because of its natural beauty and hosting one of the first democratically elected assemblies from 930 AD. The Golden Circle Drive takes three hours. The industry across Iceland can be done in a few hours, with time for stops to plan outdoor activities like snorkeling and snowmobile tours. While traveling, you get a view of Iceland's natural wonders. The Golden Circle stops in the Icelandic capital city and takes you to some of the hottest tourist attractions, such as Gullfoss, a famous waterfall, Strakur Geyser, and Thingalir National Park. Enjoyed once? Your time will be maximized with this four to five hour tour, and it is one of the best things to do in Iceland for first timers. On top, spot the Northern Lights to make your trip memorable forever. Iceland's strongest draw is the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis. This natural light explosion only happens in the winter and northernmost areas. Icelanders must experience this incredible phenomenon for themselves at least once. The aurora appears infamously elusive, depending on when and where you are. It's hard to know precisely when or how long they will dance. However, 
That's part of what makes them so alluring. Luckily, there are a few easy steps you can take to increase your chances of catching these elusive lights. If you aren't interested in booking a tour, choose a remote location far away from light pollution. If the stars are visible, they will be seen much more clearly in rural areas than in cities. Be patient. While you cannot control the weather and if the lights will appear, you can do your best to be ready for the perfect conditions. The best time of the year to see the northern lights is in March and September, but if you're lucky enough to spot them, this can happen at any time of the night. Iceland's natural beauty is hard to pin down. It's a country where the elements play between fire and frost, with fierce winters and endless days in the summer. Before deciding where to go in Iceland, there's much to consider. 